within minutes you're so close to death and then so close to, to life. It's like you, everything else is just stripped off. How do you live or you die? There's very little opportunity in between. Uh, when people go in the water, if they don't know how to swim, they're under. I, I remember we were um, looking through the binoculars and it had a funny shape. Uh, so we, we, we could see, even from a distance, that uh, the boat had a problem. It's right there. One of the sides of the rubber boat had punctured and uh, it, the boat was taking in water and you could see how people were throwing water out of the boat uh, to avoid it from sinking. I guess this is one of the reasons why I do this job because when, when I do get into a situation and it's just about doing and acting, I just get into that mode and I don't think so much about um, uh, how potentially dangerous it is, just about to, to do it. And, but I, I did think that this is, we, we need to hurry up. Often most of the people on the boat may never have been on the ocean before in their lives. Maybe they've never seen the ocean before in their lives. Uh, they don't know how to swim. They've been mistreated horribly and they, all they want is to just get out of Libya. They're taken to this boat in the middle of the night, so they don't really see what's going on until the morning. And then when, they, uh, when the sun rises, there's nothing but water around them and nothing to navigate by. And they don't know how to, to run the boat even. You know, the, I mean, so already just this, uh, I, for me, I would be mortified if, if I was in this situation. Um, and then imagine that then the, the boat starts taking in water and I mean it must be uh, so we will... it must be terrifying. Do you have women on board? No, 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 women. no, no women. Okay. So I have done this many times before. Okay. My name is Sebastian. We will save you all and we'll take you to Italy. Okay. But I need you to help me. When, when, when the panic st started and I tried to stop it and I realized there's no way I can stop this because they're in completely survival mode and instinct has taken over. I think that at that time when the opportunity presents itself, maybe all that aggregated stress and all that fear that's been built up that you have kind of been keeping inside of you, and that moment suddenly it just comes out. I knew that we had the rib in the water, we had prepositioned the life vest, so even if it were to like completely collapse and sink, um, I think we had a good chance to, to get people out of the water. But I was stuck in the rib <laughs> and I was trying to talk to people and, uh, and create some kind of um, uh, order in the chaos. But all I could see was the backs of people because they were of course obviously focusing on the opportunity uh, in front of them. And I remember I saw people stepping on each other's faces and, and you know, p trying to push each other uh, aside. And, um, I mean, no one can blame anyone for this kind of uh, situation and this kind of behavior. It's, I think it's instinctive, but it's, it's so dangerous. And I remember I was uh, quite stressed. Uh... Okay. My friend, hey, hey! It's impressive and I, to, to realize I cannot do anything. This just has to, to happen and I, I can't stop it. Um, and I felt powerless, uh, yeah. I just want to save your life. And uh, yeah, you just, then you just go for it. And uh, not even considering that uh, uh, panicking and, uh, and uh, jumping on the ladder at the same time as many other people will be dangerous for, uh, not only for yourself, of course, but also for, for other people. I think it's very instinctive. Listen to me. Make them listen to me. And then when we manage to rescue them, and you just see their relief. Uh, um, that's uh, like at the core. I'm at the core of, uh, of what it's all about. The final bit of the fear comes out, and they they break down crying. But it can also be, you know, such an extreme relief and uh, and uh, exhaustion. There's like the whole specter of human emotion is uh, it's just unfolds, like you say, in, in uh, a few minutes in front of your eyes. It's, it's, it's very strong, it's very strong and it's, uh, it's so easy to relate to.